right. So hello, Allison. Thank you so much for joining us today. I was hoping that you could just introduce yourself. Um, tell us mm -hmm. what agency you're affiliated with, what your job title is, um, mm -hmm. if you have any association with the CESU or LTER network, and how long you've been working for your agency. OK, great. Um, I often go by Allie, so Allie Ainsworth. I work for the National Park Service. I am currently a CESU science advisor and ecologist for the Pacific Northwest CESU and the Great Basin CESU. Um, I have been working for the National Park Service for about 18 years, but I've been in this current position. I just passed three years. I lose all the questions. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Um, and so I asked you to talk today about um, the theme of career preparation. There. So I tried to find a job in Hawaii and I didn't, was not successful. So I got a job in Minnesota, northern Minnesota, so a little further west, and was working there when a friend of mine was offered, she had moved to Seattle and actually saw a flyer for sea turtle volunteer opportunities in Hawaii. So she put me down as a reference. I was called by the park as a reference. And as people always seem to do, I asked, oh, Hawaii, can I come? And the hiring official said, sure. So I actually kind of fell into a volunteer opportunity at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and ended up working there in resource management about seven years, um, did get into plants and got hired as a, a vegetation technician. So it was it was 10 years between undergrad and going back for my master's, but it was a great opportunity because I then went and researched the vegetation recovery following the fires that I had helped fight. Um, and so I actually went to Oregon State, but my research was back in Hawaii. So then that led to more jobs with the park. And I actually took a couple years working for the state of Hawaii and then finally went back 10 years later for a PhD at University of Hawaii and only did one semester before I got a permanent job finally with the Park Service. So I left school, went to lead the vegetation part of the INM program for the Pacific Islands. So I got to travel all over. Did that about four years and felt the itch to get back to a little more. So I talked to my boss about trying to go back and continue with my PhD while working. And I was lucky to be able to do that. It was a lot. Um, so I did that for three years and it was great, but pretty hot. And then this uh, job opened up in Seattle. So I moved again and now I'm in Seattle and one of the requirements of my current job was that I did have to finally finish the PhD so <laughs> so I did um, so very non-traditional sort of education component but I did really enjoy having education through my whole career and that's one of the best parts of my current job is I'm back at a university but still working with national well, that's awesome. I loved hearing your story and all the places you've been and finally getting around to Hawaii and just going all over the place. And so moving on to the last question that we're asking all the panelists. So in terms of career preparation, what is one piece of advice that you would have given yourself from the beginning of your career journey? The importance of people and relationships has only grown over time. Um, and I I think of even back when I was in undergrad and I never went to office hours and, you know, I didn't really take advantage of all the potential mentorship opportunities. I think that is part of why I was happy to, to help out with this actual interview is I think, um, you know, it, there's a lot to be learned. And as a more senior government employee, I have a lot to learn from the next generations coming up and the incredible application of technology and science. And so I guess I would say, you know, keep an open mind and enjoy meeting people. You don't have to like everyone, <laughs> but it is beneficial to, to get to see different perspectives. 
That's awesome. That's such great advice. Well, thank you so much, Ali, for telling us um, about your experience working with the NPS. And we'll get to hear more from you soon at the rest of the career panel. Thank you. Great. Thank you.